What box is this? May. May? We're just behind on filming. You want to dress? Anyway. What? I mean, the true meaning of bushcraft. Chicken the, fox. <laughs> yeah. The uh, poison ivy summer slam. Mm hmm. Um, just oozing out of every pore and orifice in my body. You can tell we're not lying about when we're filming it. It's obviously <laughs> summertime because you're covered in poison ivy. That's right. That's right. Who would I be if I wasn't rustling around in the woods? Mm -hmm. um, true outdoorsman. Yeah, it was uh, very unfortunate. But let's talk about the TAC Pack. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But what is fortunate is the May TAC Pack Plus. And I really like this one because it's got a little bit of everything. Yes. It's the utility box. Yeah. Everything is usable. Yep. Right out of the box. Right out of the box. Starting with Mission First Tactical Belly Band. Um, when we saw this, we said, you know, and it's unique at TACPAC because we have to find things that are universal enough for everyone to use. So if we sent a Glock holster, that wouldn't work for everybody. But finding something like this where anybody can use this for a compact or subcompact pistol is perfect. And you can wear it on your person like me. I'm a model now. The model. Flip yeah. Your... I mean, and it fits all sizes. Like I'm a 34 waist and I mean, it can even go super tight. We love the guys on Mission First, American Made. This was showcased at SHOT Show. So uh, this right. is a brand new product, like, and mm -hmm. kind of first to market in a way, in this box. So you're probably one of the first people to really get your hands on this thing. It doesn't even feel like I have it on. Does it look like I have it, it on? It doesn't. You're not printing, as I'm they say. Printing. Here's the other thing. The Mission First belly band comes in two sizes, the regular and the ultralight. We included the ultralight because we figured most people would run a compact or subcompact pistol. But if you also want to get one for full size, you can get the regular belly band, uh, especially for fall weather, winter time wearing, you know, kind of, underneath a shirt, underneath a jacket. So you could carry full size right in your belly. Doesn't, you know, with the appendix, doesn't get all down in there. And, and yeah, there you go. He's doing some calisthenics to prove that, it's, uh, that it works. When in doubt. Doing it out. <laughs> Goon Tate. So these guys reached out to, uh, no, 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 wait. Rewind, they showed up in my Instagram and I was like, this is the most tack But guy. JR, it's just tape. It's more than tape, it's goon tape. <laughs> and here's the cool thing about goon tape. So, you know, when you have rail attachments like a light with a, with a cord or with a wire, like on JR's build back mm -hmm. there, the Cloud Rain 3.0 full size, also in the Patriot Pack. Sold out. Sold Patriot out, pack. you missed out. You can attach and secure all types of things to your rifle with this tape. And just to show like, there are a lot of tapes out on the market. You can't just rip this tape. Unless you have super. He's strength. really, really strong. <laughs> but for some Let reason, for some reason, for some reason, for the first. Can't. Well, I think he's faking it now. Uh, so but when we first got, maybe I've learned how to rip it. But when we first got the samples, we couldn't rip through this stuff. Yep. And we thought that that was going to be pretty, uh, pretty awesome. It sticks to itself really well. And uh, the folks at Goon Tape are just incredible. They drove them up here to deliver them. It was really great to meet them. And uh, yeah, see, I don't know why I was ever... Oh, all right, there, finally. But uh, I'm going to say it too. Mm. I'm just going to say it. Say it. Guns that are all taped up look cool. Oh, well, Sorry. I mean, they just look cool. What about your build? Let's, homie? let's tape the shit out. Tape the shit out. Do a little <laughs> mummification, mm -hmm. if you will. Next up, so, so I want to talk about the grip stop because. I want to talk about it because it is my favorite, you know, rail extension, forend extension, angled. I, I don't even call it, I don't call it a foregrip. I really don't because it's kind of a hand stop to me. Mm. I've been using this all the way since back in the day when these were first made out of aluminum through Lanco Tactical. And that was the, where they got their original name. And I believe True North uh, bought maybe the design or the rights for it. I have to fact check myself there. But True North acquired the rights to manufacture the grip stop maybe 10 years ago. Does that sound right? Maybe like seven years ago. And they've been making it ever since. And in the last couple of years, they came out with a polymer version that's more lightweight and still as rigid as the aluminum version. And, and it's just an incredible piece. And if you look at my guns at home, they're all sporting this radius um, 
you know, I call it a hand stop because it fits perfectly against the back of your palm when you're addressing your rifle and it creates one of those very repeatable processes where you don't have to worry about hand placement. You just pull back, it ends because it's got the radius and then you're ready to shoot. So for me, it's led to more accurate shooting when I'm outdoors training, doing a class or just messing around with my buddies at the range, but it, it allows me to shoot better because it's the familiarity and the repeatable processes that I've come to know across all of my rifles that are kind of like make similar SBR type, type rifles. And we will even link below, you did a whole video kind of talking about <laughs> foregrip setups where yeah. you wax poetic even more about this, this yeah. subject. So. I'm in my basement and I think the title of the video is like the best hand stop in the world question yeah. mark and I, and I really do believe yeah. that it is. Now, notwithstanding, there are a lot of great things that have come on the market. Personally, another one that I really like is, is that what's on your gun, the emissary? I'm not looking. Yep. Yeah, nice. I think emissary is doing a great job too, but I mean, things that really work and have texture and give you that familiarity with your, with your rifle. So, huge fan of uh, the grip stop and will always be. Couple other utility things that we have in the box. I don't know if you want to talk about, yeah. We're gonna post maybe somewhere in the comments or something. Um, we did a video on how we use this and then Josh also has a video on how he uses this. This is a stencil kit from Operator Survival Tool. We've been working with Operator Survival Tool for probably the greater part of six, seven years. Oh, yeah. He's like an OG. OG, that's right. And so it, at first it's a little daunting, right? But what you do is you take this, you take this target stencil you lay it out on a flat piece of cardboard, and when you're done, you mark, it comes with a paint pen, you mark it up, and yeah, it's in there somewhere, and you oh. mark up your uh, cardboard, and then you cut it out, and then it creates this foldable three-dimensional uh, torso target that you can hang on anything. And we used them with um, like those green ground sticks that you buy for three bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot. We've put them on as small pieces of wood as maybe like a one by one just in the ground and then you can attach this. Actually, you can kind of slide it over top uh, or you could tape it, I guess, but that wouldn't last as long. But uh, when Josh told us about this product, we got really hyped up because it's one of those things where you can take it to the range and you have a much better opportunity to have good targets. And then you can obviously even use the paint pen to mark your hits and then go from there or tape over them. But uh, Josh is doing really great things. He he has a few other things in the work that we're working on right now that I think would be really helpful for our, our basis of, of subscribers. And we'll probably look towards getting another one of his products in the first quarter of next year. Yeah, and it's, it's a cool product in the way that when we got it, it was January 17th, we got the product from UPS, the sample product, and we came out here and we, we had a real like light bulb moment. We opened it up and we're like, huh? And then we got to messing with it and yep. we utilize it and we build it. And it was like, this is one of the coolest, simple, but like super, yeah. you know, cool products we've ever gotten. Yeah. I mean, normally, you know, we're, we're fans of sending different targets because you'll always need them. And we always favor shooting outdoors. And this is a perfect accessory to, you know, throw in the back of your truck, take it to the range, build some targets or just build the targets at home take them to the range and, and have a better range day. Nice little toss in again for the gear bag, for the range bag. Uh, you can never go, I, I don't wear muffs. So in the comments, I'd love to hear your opinion. As a primarily a rifle shooter, whether it's long range or with carbines like AR-15s, I've, for the past 15 years, I don't, I think I've only won, worn earmuffs out of necessity of not having plugs. So out of, out of the thousands of times that I've gone shooting, I've probably worn earplugs 99.999% of the time and muffs maybe 10 to 15 times in my entire life. So I'm an earplug guy, but I wanna hear your opinion because when I, even low profile muffs, I can't, it, it's, it's hard to shoot my rifle and feel comfortable, which is why I've always been a plug guy. Now, people might argue that they don't work as well, this, that, and the other thing, but I mean, I can hear everything, you, huh, what'd you say? Mm -hmm. I can hear everything you're saying. I can hear the fly buzzing around. I can hear my skin crawling because of the poison ivy. I can hear all those things. So, uh, <laughs> Walker's earplugs, nice little range toss in, and uh, something that everybody can use. 
Who would we be without, <laughs> oh, I'm coming up close. <laughs> Who would we be without the beautiful artwork of this man right here, JR, with the ATA -AT Tactical. What are you calling the sticker? The ATA -AT Technical. ATA -AT Technical. That's right. <laughs> ATA Technical, move over, yeah. Hello, Prednisone. <laughs> the Prednisone. Move over, Toyota Tacoma. We've got a new rig in town for all your technical needs, designed by none other than this man right here. Thank you, thank you. For the May Plus box, we struck an amazing deal with Bushnell for the TRS-125, which is the upgraded version of the TRS-25, and it comes with a riser. So this is an out-of-the-box optic that you can slap onto your build, slap on whatever you want to, and take it to the range instantaneously, sight it in, and enjoy it. We are very proud to have this in the box. This is one of the best budget red dots in the world. Obviously, we can't afford to send out Aimpoint T1s and H1s to our subscribers with um, the economics of the box, but this is a killer red dot and uh it's durable it's it's more durable than a lot of the other brands out there yeah. who market themselves as really good brands and they charge twice as much but they're still made entirely the same or to less standards than something like these bushnell optics yeah so we're really proud to have this in the box we got a flood of emails from people saying that they were just over the moon that this, something like this came in the box and they were able to put it on their build and go enjoy it that weekend. So a uh, really proud opportunity we've had with Bushnell and maybe you can expect to see another Bushnell optic in 2025, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. Long lasting, hard, tough. The Toyota Tacoma of red dots? JR got a Tacoma, he <laughs> thinks he's cool. I don't know what's going on here. He thinks he's an off-roader, obviously. <laughs> He, the trails that he's gone on are the wood paths behind his house <laughs> at best. And then uh, climbing on ramps to get on the busy metro highways in Columbus, <laughs> Ohio. So don't let him fool you, ladies and gentlemen. It's like a five degree incline. He's not a real off-road guy. Yeah. Yet. Well, that's it for, oh, don't forget your Mission oh, yeah. First Tactical. MFT always throws in a little extra Yes, flag. they always hook everybody up. They do yeah. a great job. We love working with them. We've got other MFT products coming. Oh, yeah. Q4 and Q1, so really excited about those. As always, we appreciate it. Again, having the huge community of subscribers and fans allows for us to have the buying power to really put awesome name brand, quality, useful, professional grade gear in the boxes, and it wouldn't be possible without you guys. So, like all things, talk, talk soon. soon.